Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In this quick video, I'm going to let you know how you can edit data models in Power BI service. This is a preview feature, so you must enable it first. As I have told you in my last couple of videos that Microsoft is trying to be fully platform independent. And what does that mean? That simply means that going forward in in future, you really don't need to depend on any operating system. Whether you are going to use iOS operating system or Windows or Linux, you simply need a browser. So you can access your Power BI reports and dashboards from anywhere, any point of time. Now going forward, look at this page. Over here, you would find all the necessary information that how you can enable this preview setting and how you can start utilizing this new feature in Power BI service. Before that, this feature was only available in Microsoft Power BI Desktop app, where we used to face a lot of challenges, like how to create a measure, how to manage the relationship, how to manage your data model, etc. And also before releasing this feature update, we have only two options. Either we have to go for data flows or data mart, and both are the premium features. Now I'm gonna take you to my Power BI service where I have already published one data set and I'm gonna let you know how to enable that. So first of all, you have to log in into your Microsoft Power BI service, like I'm over here, this is my homepage. Now I can go to my desired workspace where I have published my data set and I would like to edit it. So simply go to that workspace. For example, I'm gonna go over here. This is my development workspace. And you can see that I have a couple of data flows and data set over here. Now what you have to do, you have to go to this settings button over here, click over here. And here you would find a couple of settings. There is an advanced drop down button as well over here. So click on this one. Once you would click, you have to go down and here you would find data model settings. Users can edit data models in the Power BI service and this feature is in preview. So you have to check or click on this box over here. After that, you have to save it. So that's all you need to do in order to enable your edit data model in Power BI service feature. Now, in my last video, I published this data set over here. And guys, please be assured that I'm gonna make a video on the creation of dashboard using this data set very soon so probably next week you would get that video all right so what you have to do you have to simply click on now these three dots or eclipses we so call them and here you would find this open data model as soon as you open it you get this warning that keep in mind your changes will be permanent and automatically saved you have to keep this in mind reason being whatever change you are going to do over here they are going to be permanently saved after that, you can close this or you can close this pop up over here. This is your data model and now you can edit it. You can see on the top bar that there is a new measure, new column, new table. So you can create it over here. Secondly, you can also create a report directly from there if you would like to build a new report. So over here, you would get your other tables too. You can arrange them the way you want to. I'm not going to do that, but it's going to work same as it used to work on your Power BI desktop. You can switch on these so that you can always see some of the options like you can pin your keys. That means the keys that are connecting between these two tables, calendar and airports data is going to be at the top and it's kind of best practice that is going to help you out. Now here your table and you can also right click here. You will get a couple of options over here so you can keep them in mind and you can start using them. But over here, please keep in mind that you won't get the delete option, delete the table over here which generally you get into your Power BI desktop app. So you won't get that. However, other options are there. Secondly, if you are selecting any of the fields, so let's see if I select this, can I move into a folder? Yes, I can. So we are going to get all other options same as we are getting on Power BI desktop app and same you're going to get over here. If you want to create a new measure, for example, I'm just going to say, hey, create a new measure for me. And this is going to be my test measure. And here I'm going to see only hello that's it that's all you need to do now if i'll go to my data pane and here you can see that my test measure has been created this feature was not available and i was hoping for a long time that microsoft can allow everyone to create a measure or a new column or a new table on the power BI service that's going to solve a lot of problems so definitely guys you can use it now coming to the second point this is my premium workspace so what i'm going to do I'm going to come here again and let me try to delete this measure so I can delete it. So at least for measure, it's available that I can delete it from here. Once I done that, I can go back to my Power BI workspace over here. You can see that 
this workspace is a premium per user workspace. Now let's check whether this feature is available into a pro workspace or not. For that, I can come over here and I'll try to create a new workspace and I'm gonna give it a name, test data model feature. You can give it any name. And now once you would click on the advanced button and you would see the drop down. So it's uh, going to be a pro workspace, not the premium. And here there are certain settings. So I'm just gonna save it for the time being. Now I'm into this my test data model feature workspace. Here is the setting button again. So let's click on that. Go to the advanced button and go down. So it's gonna come. So here you can see that guys, this feature you can use in both, whether you have Power BI premium license, premium capacity based or premium per user, or you have a pro license, you will get this feature and you can enable it so that you can edit your data models in Power BI service. What do you think about this guys? Are you going to use it? You are not gonna use it or how it can help you? Please do let me know in the comment section. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.